the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. On your wedding day, you vowed your love to each other. Today, you stand before the altar of your family in striking testimony of what God's grace conferred in matrimony can accomplish in a husband and wife who carefully guard and use the divine treasure that is in them. The world today has great need of the living servants which your example of fidelity and love shows forth. You have been dauntless in the face of any problems or difficulties, not only to yourselves and hidden from others, that could have made your marriage something entirely other than it has actually been. We have every reason to believe that your married love has closely resembled Christ's love, which is not the bride of the church, and that is Christ is the Savior of the church. So you have been a Savior to each other. You have found in your life together true peace, dignity, happiness, and security. It has it always been easy. You have entered your suffering together. God has been faithful to you, blessed you abundantly, and with his help you have been able to accomplish what you yourselves without divine aid could never have accomplished. You were buried in Christ, and Christ has continued these years to be your portion in happiness and your chalice and sorrow. We ask him to guide you and watch over you, helping you to persevere in fidelity and love for the years ahead, which we pray will be many and blessed. And so we ask you, Michael, you're going to be after me. Okay. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. Reaffirm my marriage vows. Reaffirm my marriage vows. And rededicate myself. And rededicate myself. In the same spirit. In the same spirit. That I pronounce. That I pronounce. When I take you, Karen. When I take you, Karen. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For rich and for poor. For rich and for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until death. Until death. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. Reaffirm my marriage vows. Reaffirm my marriage vows. And rededicate myself. And rededicate myself. In the same spirit. In the same spirit. That I pronounce. That I pronounce. When I took you, Michael. When I took you, Michael. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. Until death. Until death. <laughs> Lord bless and consecrate Michael and Karen in their love for each other. May these rings continue to be symbols of true faith in each other and always remind them of their love. Karen, take this ring. Take this ring. That's a sign. That's a sign. I love you. I love you. In the name of the Father. In the Father, and the Son, and the, Son and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Michael, take this ring. Michael, take this ring. As a sign. As a sign. Of my love and fidelity. Of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Charge your hand to your faithful servants so that they may seek you wholeheartedly and receive from you all the good things that they desire. Almighty God, look with blessing on this couple who have just renewed their marriage vows. They have come before your altar with happy hearts to offer their thanks to you. Grant that they may continue to live in genuine Christian love and attain with their family and friends the joys of many more years together. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may kiss your husband.